And it was Time Magazine's Invention of the Year back in 2008, 23andMe's home DNA testing kit. But 16 years later, the value of that company has plummeted. Now, there's been a lot of buzz about this type of technology, and now a lot of people are concerned that the company and all the genetic data it has could soon go up for sale. P.J. Rendawa has the story. Illinois has some of the strongest laws in the country when it comes to protecting biometric data, things like our fingerprints or DNA. So experts tell me the genetic data of Illinois residents isn't going to change hands easily, even if 23andMe is sold. You can change your passwords and you can even change your email addresses. But if a bad actor gets their hands on your genetic information, the data in that tube of saliva you mail to 23andMe when you sign up, there's really nothing you can do. Many found out the hard way after the company announced the data of almost 7 million users was compromised last October in a data breach. I think that when you're talking to people about this over the kitchen table, nobody's excited to now swab themselves and send that information off to a company that's shown that they can't be trusted to have it. Eli Wade Scott is one of the attorneys behind a class action lawsuit filed on behalf of those impacted by last fall's data breach. He explains why the company's subsequent actions raised even more privacy concerns for users. Immediately after the data breach or in the ensuing months, the CEO, as the company entered these financial struggles we're hearing so much about, did an interview where she um, expressed a lot of interest in offering up people's data to yet more third parties for research to try to um, get more cash for the company's bottom line. In a statement, the company tells NBC5 Response the CEO is no longer open to considering third party takeover proposals and has pledged to maintain the company's current privacy policy. But per that policy, if the company is involved in a bankruptcy, merger, acquisition, reorganization or sale of assets, your personal information may be accessed, sold or transferred as part of that transaction. Wade Scott says fortunately at least a dozen states, including Illinois, have laws that would require 23andMe to obtain consent from users before transferring their data to another company. I think that Illinoisans have exceptionally strong protections that would prevent 23andMe from wholesale transferring their data to a third party. Um, I don't know if that's 23andMe's view. Uh, and the company has not shared a lot of information about what happens if the company goes bankrupt or it's sold. Meantime, the company has agreed to pay $30 million to settle the class action lawsuit over last fall's data breach. If you're concerned about keeping your genetic data secure, it is possible to delete it from 23andMe. Here's how to do it. Log into your account and under settings, go to 23andMe data. Select delete your data. PJ Randawa, NBC5 responds.